Okay, so he's making sure that this water sample is bubble free. So you just grab some gas from. So now we've got a headspace of gas and my sample water, and I want to shake and equilibrate these two two samples, the two fractions, in the stream where I collected. Currently, what he's doing is he's collected his water sample, he's collected some sample of the, the air in the atmosphere, uh, and he's equilibrating the two by shaking the syringe uh, in the cold water. Uh, and he explained it very eloquently, is kind of like a, like a soda bottle. Yeah! You get a lot of dissolved gas shake up the soda bottle and that gas comes out. So he's trying to get the gas that was in this stream to come out into the headspace above the water sample in his syringe. So we finished equilibrating and one of the tough things that he's gonna show you is you now have gas above water, but he has to collect a gas sample for gas chromatography, which will be done later that is completely water free. So it's a pretty involved process. I've got the gas here, and I didn't take any water out of this syringe. So this is what the sample will actually take back and analyze in the lab. And then you inject that directly into the GC. Directly to the GC. Sweet! And the two gases that are predominantly in this water are carbon dioxide and methane? That's correct. And those are the ones we are most interested in because those are products of this ecosystem. They're also greenhouse gases. 